welcome to this video so uh, I'm going to show you step by step how to get your Razer device to work on your Mac so the newest devices require Razer Synapse 3.0 uh, for it to work on your new Mac however this program is not supported currently so uh, you probably like me tried to use Razer Synapse 2.0 that works on uh, some old devices uh, but it doesn't find your new device and uh, therefore you cannot change your DPI or your colors on your mouse. So what's the solution? Um, so the first solution is to download a application that actually uh, works and will fix uh, this. So I will post a link in the description uh, and it's called Razer Mac OS. Uh, so when you come to this website, this is what the application contains. It's not uh, that important to read and here you have some but you have some information on what uh, devices are actually covered by this application. So when you come to this website, go to download, press latest release. In here the currently latest release is 0 0.4.5. Uh, we will download the latest version. So just press the Razer Mac OS Universal DMG and that will start a download. I already pre-downloaded that one so we will and I prepared it here so we will double click it and we can close down this Razer Synapse. So you double click the DMG and uh, it always says opening and verifying. You can always uh, press skip uh, when opening DMG files. It will make it a bit faster. Then you drag and drop this one to applications. I've already done it, so I will not be doing it right now. Once you have dragged it over there, then you can go to your applications and you can open it uh, and it will open like this. So it seems like it doesn't really uh, see your device. However, if you go up to the top right corner, you can still uh, you can select your device from here so i will select my razer death adder essential and here i can ch uh, change uh, the colors i can change the dpi and right now i have the logo and scroll wind turned off but of course i can change the intensity i can change the colors and you also have the options to change from a static uh, spectrum cycle you can play around with different colors so it changes uh, over time uh, or if you just want to have one color you can pick the one of your choosing as well as setting up your uh, DPI for uh, fitting your preference okay so that is everything for uh, this tutorial if you have any questions uh, leave them in the comment and I'll make sure to answer them as soon as possible Make sure to like if this video helped you out and subscribe if you're interested in more tutorials. Thank you.